Since there's nobody in mid and it looks like Kali just left, I think it's a good time to rotate left and make a kink. Oh boy. Oh boy, somebody's back in. The blink. The double kill. Easiest double I've gotten with Ratatasker in my life. What a do, Scooby Boo? I'm Shawnee D Gaming, and today we have a viewer requested video of Ratatasker in the Jungle. If you are new to the channel, I upload six to seven times a week. I add some commentary to some games I've already played with the intention of seeing what went right and what went wrong, and we're going to try to use it as a learning experience. If you are a returning viewer, the format for this video is a little bit different. Instead of it being one game, it's actually two games back to back. They were both early games, but it's going to allow me to talk about the strengths of Ratatasker. So let's go ahead and go over his kit. His 1 is going to be a dash that does damage, and it's also going to apply a slow. As you level the 1 up, the slow is going to become stronger and stronger, maxing out at 40%. Ratatasker is 2, he's going to spin around in a circle, removing protections from anybody that he damages. At level 1, uh, you know it's I going to be 2 protections for 4 ticks of damage, Please so you can remove up to 8. Merch. Protections at level 5, it's going to be 6 times 4, so it's up to 24 protections removed. In early game, this is a big deal. Being able to remove 24 protections can make it to where you're almost doing true damage. Ratatasker is 3, he's going to shoot 3 acorns forward. If all 3 acorns hit the same target, that target's going to be stunned. Ratatasker is ultimate, he's going to go into the sky, and then he has 3 jumps. And if you want to land, you can let it time out, Hello. or you can push B on console, or Xbox, to cancel it and land early. Ratatasker's passive is he has an acorn from the Tree of Life. I will try to pronounce it once, but that is all. It is the acorn of Yggdrasil, and for the rest of the video we're going to call it Ratatasker's acorn. So to start, we bought the tier 2 version of Ratatasker's Acorn, and we bought the Assassin's Blessing. We put a point into our 3, because if we can hit all 3 Acorns onto a minion, we're going to do 120 damage, which is more than the 100 damage from our tail. So we're going to blink through, do some damage to health. We miss our stun, but that is okay. We got pressure. Anubis gets a stun. He's in a little bit of trouble, but it looks like he's able to peel out. So because he got poked out so much, we're just going to go for our red buff. So the cool thing about Ratatasker's Acorn is it gives you the movement speed that Boots would give you. It's going to heal you whenever you damage opponents with abilities. And it's going to give you 50 power pretty early on. In fact, um, nobody's going to have more power than Ratatasker with two items. The starter item and the acorn, it gives a lot more power than the boots. We are in some trouble, so we are going to get out with 4 health. We were just a little too far pushed up when Hell and Kali rotated. It looks like Kali just blinked, so we are going to keep running away. So we got pushed back to spawn a little bit earlier than we would like. We might be able to get this Kali. Unfortunately, our dash was down, so we just shot some acorns from a distance. Kepri is able to get the first kill. Another fun little thing about Ratatasker's Acorn is you can upgrade it while outside of Fountain. So I actually forget to do that this game, and it is a huge misplay because I'm missing out on some free power that no other god is going to be able to match early game. So we are starting another rotation. We're going to hit Speed, Harpies, Blue. We'll go ahead and hit the chalice. It's not full, but that is okay. So it looks like somebody took our harpy. So we are going to be a little bit behind in terms of where we could be in level. We got back. Uh, we were forced to back a little bit early, and we we're missing the camp. As long as we are still ahead of their Kali, we should be good. I drop the buff for Guan Yu and let him know to take it. Hell is in middle, our blink is down, so we're going to go the aggressive route and see if we can catch her pushing up. Does not look like it, so we're just going to make an effort to go steal their red. No vision on Cali. Their red is still down. 
There's a chance it might spawn when our red spawns, so I'm kind of hanging out. But it looks like Hell stepped out of tower, so we're going to actually make our way back to mid. We blink, we reduce your protections. With the help of Anubis, we are able to confirm the kill. And now the red buff is up, so let's go ahead and take that. I'm going for jungle buff. Ratatasker also has an attack chain, so his first attack is going to do, let's say, 1x damage. His next two attacks are going to do less than 1x damage. And then his third attack is going to be a cleave doing 1x damage. So right now we have enough money to buy the upgraded acorn, which we would definitely want before engaging on two people. Right now we're kind of just camping okay. out, see if they're going to overstep. We are missing some farm by doing this, but hopefully we can turn this into some kills. Would have been a great time to upgrade my acorn. I think I just was so focused this game I forgot about it. So they are pushing up. Now is the time to make a move. This Fafnir doesn't have his dash, but he still does, so we're going to stick to the Fafnir. We get some poke, but we're not going to win that, so we're just going to peel off. Our speed is up, so we're just going to back and go for that. Typically, after two rotations, you're usually a level 5. So right now, we are just less than a half a level behind. Hopefully, we can catch up and make the difference relatively quickly. Vaman is looking kind of weak. We might want to make an appearance in right lane. We might be able to get him. Although if he has his ultimate, he's just going to be able to get out. The important thing is now that we have our ultimate, we should be able to ult people who are overstepped and standing too far outside of the tower line. Ratatasker's strength is in the early game. So even though I did not buy this acorn, this is probably the most effective I'm going to be with Ratatasker is right after picking up the acorn. That's too so we're gonna to wanna to try to capitalize on some kills within the next like three to five minutes. Our red's not up, so we're just gonna go back and hit these back harpies. Left lane is pushed up pretty far. Anubis is about mid and Guan Yu's about mid. We're just going to hit this red buff, and it looks like purple is up if we wanted to rotate onto that. Drop the purple. We might want to make an appearance left lane, but we kind of want to do that when Heimdall is there. Since it's just Capri, we're going to look elsewhere for right now. So we put a point into our three, that way we could clear camps uh, really effectively at level one, and then we want to max out our two by putting a point into our one at level three. So right here, we're going to get super aggressive, just dive from under power, we get the stun, we get the protection reduction, and right here is where I got greedy. Let's go, baby. As soon as I saw her pop her Aegis, I should have just been like, oh, that's a victory, and then dashed out. I got greedy and went for the kill. Usually. If you can trade your ultimate for a relic, that's a win for you. Just because you'll most likely have your ultimate before they will have their relic. That's super unfortunate, Anubis. Just a second or two off and you would have gotten that Cali. So we are 1-1-1. One, one, and one. We're going to be starting a rotation. So we just got Hell, Anubis just got taken out by Kali, so Hell's gonna be the first one back to lane. Anubis should be able to clean up that wave. Mon is full health. I just don't think there's a whole lot we can do in this lane right now. Take this jungle buff. We might just do a damage check on him. <laughs> and by damage check, apparently I mean one basic attack. Get a little bit of protection reduction. Got a little bit of damage to the acorn, but yeah, we're less than half health. He's still over 75%. That's not our fight. Our best bet is going to be trying to ult Vamana whenever he is weak, and then hoping that Guan Yu can help me clean up the damage. So 
So hell is in mid. She's hanging out pretty far back. Don't think we're gonna be able to do a whole lot here. We're gonna start moving into left jungle. Hachiman and Fafnir are a little far pushed up. Fafnir's a little far pushed up. Hachiman's still hanging out. We're gonna hit purple and hopefully they will leave their tower line and then we will be able to do something here. Thanks. Be careful, left. So right now we've kind of just been farming. We've made an attempt to get a kill or two. That is the hell and easy peasy. Able to follow up what Anubis set up. He tossed up the ball and I slammed it down. We're gonna look to see if we can invade. Kali's pushing Anubis. We're gonna hang out, see if she really commits to him or not. She does not, so we're just going to make or, well, she jumped over the wall, so we're kind of like, oh, does Anubis need help? Kind of waiting for her to step out of tower, but I don't think she's going to. So our time probably would have been better off trying to invade and go for a camp. Since there's nobody in mid and it looks like Kali just left, I think it's a good time to rotate left and make a gank. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Somebody's backing. The blink. The double kill. Easiest double I've gotten with Ratatasker in my life. Can't just back right there. Anyway, speed is up, so we're going to back and go for that. Since we are going against a Hell, a Kali, and a Vamana, with Fafnir and Hachiman, who's most likely building life still, we are going to be going into Brawler's Beat Stick to get that anti-heal online right away. It is also going to give us some flat penetration. I believe it is 15 flat pen. It could be 10. But if it is 15, imagine an enemy has 50 protections just from being level 10. Your flat pen, 15, is going to take that down to 35 protections. And then Ratataskers 2 is going to be able to remove up to 24 of those. So that's going to leave your opponent with 10 protections when they had 50. That's a pretty big deal early game in terms of damage. We just gotta hope that we can actually convert that into a lead and some kills. Enemy missing middle. We don't know where Kali is. There's a chance they're on the red buff. Kali's right behind me. There is hell. We're gonna dash out. Don't really want any part of that, and we were kind of in a bad position. So these guys are weak over here again, and I have my ultimate, so we're gonna see if there is anything we can do. We're gonna go straight for the Hachi Man because he was the weakest and also the most valuable target. This Faf here caught him at the perfect time. Get the stun. That's another double in duel. We're just gonna clean up this tower. Kali's gonna have to run back. Now would be a great time to go for gold. Hell is pushed back. They don't have a tier one. Their dual lane just got wiped, so it's really just Kali. That could contest. Hell might be able to if she rotates, but we really just gotta worry about Kali. So I think this gold favor is definitely gonna fall in our favor. So six, one, and one. We're about to get gold. Establish even more of a gold lead. Go ahead and drop Oracle. Speed is about to spawn, so it would be a good time to back right now. Be right back. Looks like we're just going to walk back to it instead of backing to base. Even though we have 2,000 gold in our bank. We're going to get speed. We're going to hit Chalice. And Blue's down, so I still think I need to back. I think I should have backed before speed. I think I should have backed after speed. Right now, Anubis looks like he needs help, so we're just going to go get some protection removal on this hell. Get the stun. And the slow. That is a Fafnir ult. Anubis should be able to melt him. He's going to dash super aggressively. He's going for me. But he is not going to be able to get it. Anubis is able to clean that up. I see Hachiman, so I go ahead and ult. 
We're gonna ult onto Kali, try to save this Anubis. We are able to get the pick onto Kali. We got the stun, or the slow, and then Heimdall ults her into space. And that is the end of the first game. I will post the full build in the description, and the stats for this game are coming up. But hang around, because there is another game right after, where things go a little bit differently, and we're gonna kinda talk about the differences. So in this game, we've already reviewed Ratatasker's kit. This game, I'm going for the acorn, Ratatasker's acorn, without going into the assassin's lesson. This is going to give me power really early on, but I do not have the sustain or the pin or the bonus damage that is going to come from the assassin's blessing towards jungle buffs. So right here, it's kind of a risky start. I don't have the sustain to really hang around too long. I just need to get my gold and then get a kill and get out. So I've already lost so much of my health and I'm only able to start with a potion or two. I could have bought more, but I'm trying to upgrade this acorn. So now I'm at 50 power and I've just hit my blue buff. I am a little unhealthy, but I think that is okay. We just need to get a pick. This strategy is very effective for getting uh, the first blood. However, if you get sent back to base without enough money for the assassin's blessing, your next rotation is going to feel so bad. Not being able to get the sustain and the bonus damage from the blessing really feels bad. So you want to upgrade the acorn and then try to hang out in jungle, farming up as much as possible until you hit the 800 needed for the starter item. Or 700 needed for the starter item. My bad. So we're going to make a rotation over here. Three people all pretty weak. We're going to move some protections. Blow that Medusa up. We're hitting pretty hard onto this Oelix. I know she does not have 50 power in her build right now. We are able to get a double. So we were able to clean that up very well. And I would say a start like that means that this acorn start can be effective for this game. I was able to get the money I needed for the starter item. Speed's gonna be spawning soon. That was a great first rotation. If I did not have the money, I would be so in a bad spot right now. So now we have our acorn and we have our starter item. Last game we forgot to pick up the acorn whenever we had enough money to buy it. This game we just went straight for it. I personally would recommend going the starter item and then into Ratatasker's acorn. Just because the risk reward for starting with the acorn is pretty high. Like you might get the first blood, you might get a pick, but if you don't, you're going to be punished. Your next like three minutes of farming in the jungle is not going to be fun. It's going to be pretty hard to do. And we're not the first able to jump out. Okay, easy peasy there. Sorry. So we should be able to invade this blue. I love it. We are a level four and their jungler Oelix just hit level three. So we aren't going to rotate back for our blue, it's going to take too much time when we could be effective elsewhere. We are missing out on a little bit of XP from that, but that is okay. Right lane is pretty far pushed up, we're going to see if we can invade this blue. Not blue, red. I am sorry about that. A little early still. I have my ult, this should be some kills. We get the passive out of Kumba, and then we are able to get an assist by setting up Ward. Missing some basics. There we go. 3-0 and 1, off to a fantastic start. Soul's going for red, so we're going to meet her there and hit it with her. Enemy missing. We're going to hit these back harpies, and then back so we can replenish our mana, buy an item, and then also start a next rotation. So in this game, they don't have nearly as many heals as they did in the last game, so we probably aren't gonna be going Brawlers. We might be going Jotuns, or we might be going uh, the Beat Stick. No, the Crusher. The Crusher or Jotuns, right? The cooldown from Jotuns is gonna be very helpful. 
But the bonus damage from the crusher and the attack speed is also extremely helpful. So we got a little bit of a decision to make in just a little bit. Brawler's Beat Stick would still be a viable item and it would still work. You'd still get good damage off. It's just... If we don't need it right now, we're going to buy it later. We're going to get the protection reduction. So right now we're trying to zone him for his jump. He jumps aggressively away from his tower. So I think we're going to be able to clean him up here. Enemy we miss our middle. stun. Or we miss our dash. Enemy we hit our stun. Tears able to clean up the kill. Cuckoo is in jungle. So we're going to see... Oh boy. You do not want to be right there. Missed the one. That's unfortunate. Get the protection reduction. Soul should be able to clean that up. There we go. Hello there. Killing spree. Where I am from, no one can hear. Not outmatched. So we're gonna farm a wave or two with Soul. Looks like their red is up. Although, no, we just took out Kuku. So unless a Wheelix got it, their red is up, and we could have invaded right there. But we're gonna play it safe and just go for our red. Our red is also going to give us a little bit more XP because of the invasion debuff for XP and gold. If you invade an enemy's camp before the 15 minute mark, you're not going to get the same amount of gold or XP as if you were to just hit your own camp of the same type. Able to dodge the Cuckoo 1 and 3, we're going to make our way to the side Harpies. And that is unfortunate, and that's not what you like to see. I think he comes back, though, pretty quickly. So, Ratatasker definitely has a strong game compared to his old, strong early game compared to his late game. In the early game, you're going to want to kind of get your power, get a little bit of utility, maybe some cooldown online. But as you get into mid and late game, you're going to want to be building hybridy and get some defenses online just because Ratatasker is so squishy and you have to really get up in their face to be effective. We are out of mana. We got our protection reduction off. Taken out. Tier is able to pick up the Oelix. Stay right here. I'll be back, okay? And it looks like this game we are gonna be going Yotens. Pick up some potions attack. and we are good to go. Our speed is not gonna be up for a little bit, so we might want to look into right jungle. Although there's not a whole lot of camps there either, so we might be best off just marching up mid. We get the get a little bit of poke right there. There is a little bit of a fight brewing in the left jungle. We're gonna see if there's anything we can do. We're kind of just zoning the cuckoo off. We get the slow onto a wheelix. We get the protection reduction, and we get the kill. We are able to dodge the cuckoo ultimate. Killing spree. Next, we're gonna be going for our red. We're gonna clean that up. So, I hope this video, seeing the two different starts, was helpful and that you can kind of weigh the options between the two. Ratatasker is a unique character in the sense that he's the only one that has his own version of boots. Not to mention this version gives you 50 power. They are going to be reworking Ratatasker's acorns in the future, for the upcoming future. Once upon a time, he had four different options for his tier 3 acorn. Each one kind of had a different effect. They're going to bring some elements of that back, which I think is good. I think that's exciting. It's going to make a more diverse Ratatasker playstyle. Kumba came back, by the way, but he is super underleveled. Blue is down, so we're going to make our way mid. Wheelix is making her way mid. We might be able to get a pick onto her. We have no reinforcements in mid. It looks like they are going to the fight over in right. We might be able to get Cuckoo since their jungler is not here. We miss a lot of abilities right there. But we were able to get some poke off. 
Oh, and we dash right through that. That's what we were trying to avoid. I'm gonna go ahead and ult. Somebody pings. Makes me think that there's somebody under tower. There is nobody under tower. They might have backed right as I ulted, though. No problem. Your team has destroyed a right enemy tower. Camping out mid. There's Cuckoo. That's who we were camping for. The Wheelix. Gotta try to avoid her. I'm not really looking for that fight. Well, I know this video was kind of a different format, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you found it informative or want to see a particular god played, please let me know. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel and check out other videos. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a good time. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Good work.